Hello friends, Dave at Fitness Devolution. For those of you who have been following my channel, you've seen me work on legs and core, hopping, flopping, squatting, leg mobility, and all kinds of other crazy stuff. And you're wondering, when is that guy ever gonna do shoulders? Well, let the shoulder work begin. This first movement that I'm doing is uh, very challenging. Yes, I am in a deep squat. You've seen that before. It keeps the core engaged. I have a pair of 35 pound kettlebells and they are in the, what we call the rack position. And I'm simply raising my elbow over my knee on the inside and putting it down on the outside. Did it with one arm first and now I'm doing both arms at the same time. Kettlebell press, change sides, kettlebell press. This work really requires you to keep your core engaged while you're packing your shoulder and keeping your shoulder supported in the back. All right, I'm gonna transition now to a standing shoulder exercise, very similar to the one before. I'm going to open both shoulders and bring them back to the rack position. I'm keeping my hands loose on the kettlebell and trying to keep the work focused on shoulder blades. In most of these movements, the kettlebells will stay close to my shoulders, close to my body. It's kind of like doing a fly, a dumbbell fly, but different. I'm focusing on the shoulder and keeping the shoulder supported by the lat. Also notice the breathing. I'm timing the breathing to support the work. All of these movements translate directly to striking or defending or moving your opponent in combat or martial arts. So here's a side view of the same movements. You can see the work going on in the back. There's a rotation of the shoulder and I'm really trying to pull it down hard in the back. I'm trying to sink that shoulder blade deep and towards my spine. Okay, I've gone up to a 50 pound kettlebell here to do essentially the same thing. Doing it one handed, doing one handed or the same work with different weights in each arm or hand brings in some core rotation resistance work that I really like. You can see the uh, sort of the striations of my uh, thinly muscled back are uh, pulling to one side. You can see that clearly. Now I'm going to do some work with 250s. This is pretty challenging. This is kind of at the my maximum here. You want to keep your shoulder, or sorry, you keep your elbows tucked in the rack position. Mine are floating up as I'm getting a little tired here. This movement is basically a stretch in the back of my shoulders and the top of my shoulders. I'm trying to get as flat as I can and then drop the hips and very slowly pull myself through and raise the hips with the shoulders. Again, this requires some core engagement. Without the core, you're not gonna be able to do this. As I progress through this, I hope that I can eventually get to an L-sit where I'm supporting myself with my arms and shoulders and can lift my feet off the ground. I really can't do that yet, but I'm working towards that by strengthening my shoulders and trying to increase their range of motion and resist their, uh, oh, say 40 years of trying to live on uh, the side of my ribs instead of in the back where they belong. The 
This last movement is uh, again with 50 and I'm basically just going to try to pull the kettlebell up as high as I can towards the middle of my back, keeping my shoulder blades drawn together and letting it down slowly. All of these movements are best done as slow as possible and keep the contraction or the tightness at the top as much as you can. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed these uh, beginning shoulder work movements. Give them a try. I think you'll find them beneficial. Oh yeah, follow me on Google+. I've got lots of cool stuff. Guns, archery, paleo eating, health-related stuff, lots of my videos, and other cool, cool stuff.